Privyet. As any good engineer knows, your work doesn't stop at just coming up with a good solution. You must also communicate that solution in a way that others understand. In this video, we'll explore a couple different ways of displaying results in the command window. The first function we'll look at is DISP, short for display. This is the simplest way of causing text to display in the command window. This text could be a character array that is declared within the command itself, as in the example on the left, or the character array could be stored within a variable, and then that variable name gets called, as shown on the right. Remember that character arrays are defined within single quotes. Also, MATLAB will simply be replicating exactly what you tell it. So, all capital letters, spaces, exclamation marks, etc. will appear as contained in those single quotes. A common need is to display a numeric result within a sentence. However, there is a speed bump to accomplishing this. What is wrong with the command shown here? It appears we are trying to concatenate a character array and a numeric value within a single array. We are not allowed to mix data types, so this won't produce the results we want. To get around this, we need to use the numToString function as shown here. This simply converts an input from the numeric data type to a string data type, allowing it to be included in a sentence. Here is a good example. In this code, we first compute the area of a circle. Then we create the different pieces of the sentence we want to write. Then we concatenate all those pieces, including the number, into a single sentence and store it to a variable. Finally, we display that full sentence. Notice the nice appearance of this sentence. A couple things to note. The most important is the use of the numToString function. Also, it was important that we included spaces at the end and beginning of these sentence parts. That way, those spaces are included within the final sentence. Lastly, a little nuance here. If we ever want to include a single quote or apostrophe within a string, we use two single quotes. Without it, MATLAB would interpret the string as stopping at the single quote. More powerful than the disp function is fprintf. Let's look at this example. First, we perform our computations to obtain the area of a circle. Then we call on the fprintf function. We put the text we want displayed in single quotes. These symbols, %.2f, allocates a field within the text where a number will be written. The number stored in this variable after the quotes is what gets copied into that field. This number is displayed to two decimal places because of the point .2 within %.2f. Lastly, this backslash in is the new line character, which tells MATLAB to jump down to the next line in the command window, or more colloquially, to press the Enter key. There are many ways to use fprintf. We will mainly be using it to display results to the command window, but we could also use it to write results to a text file outside of MATLAB. Further, the characters following the percent symbol can be changed to adjust which notation is used, how many decimal places are shown, and how many character slots in total are allotted for the entire number. For full details, refer to the official MathWorks documentation. Here, let's look at just three examples of notation. Percent %f will display a floating point or decimal number. You can specify how many decimal places will appear. Percent %e will display the number in scientific notation, with e standing for times 10 to the. Lastly, percent %g will display in a more compact form of either percent %e or percent %f. It won't display any trailing zeros after the decimal place. Let's look at these different examples in action. In all the examples, we are displaying two different numbers within the sentence. In the first example, I express both numbers as floating point, but to different levels of precision. In the second, I use percent %g for the first variable, and we can see that no trailing zeros appear. Also, I use the backslash in in the middle of the sentence, and this splits the text over two lines. In the final example, both numbers are expressed in scientific notation. 
Also, neither number has the level of precision indicated, so MATLAB defaults to showing six decimal places. What format is best? The middle example looks best to me for this example, but the best way to display changes with each new scenario you will encounter.